Multiple wildfires all within hours of each other. A busy 24 hours for Kansas firefighters. And we begin with the Garfield fire in Pawnee County. KSN's Brett Buganski live in studio tonight. Brett, we've got some good news when it comes to getting these firefighters some much needed relief. Yeah, certainly that's the case, Jeff and Emily. Good evening to you. So the Forest Service reported that the fire is no longer spreading in Pawnee County. And right now, firefighters are still looking for any hot spots. So take a look at these new pictures from Sedgwick County crews. Firefighters are controlling the fire as they put it fighting fire with fire and they're establishing what they call control lines. That way they can maintain control so this fire doesn't start up again. And many of these same firefighters were also on the wildfire in Bel Air that happened hours earlier. And KSN confirmed one home is gone. Several buildings are destroyed and some even lost livestock. The Forest Service reports firefighters did five aerial drops on this fire alone. Sedgwick County Fire described why rural areas like this one desperately needed some reinforcements. These fires in you know, Pawnee County and you know, Western Kansas were more sparsely populated. A lot of those are small rural volunteer departments and they can get quickly overwhelmed. It's, it's, it's a daunting task. Even for us in Sedgwick County, to have a fire that would span miles and miles, it would take help from all over. And Deputy Chief Cox added that firefighters are experiencing an unusually big fire season this year and last year. So he said that the rain certainly helped, but having those temperatures in the 80s with those high wind gusts was certainly the recipe for disaster. I'm here for you, Brett Bagansky, KSN News 3.